I need to tell the police what happened. If you think I am gonna let you throw your life away for him, I can't live with him, Mom. You've got to stop torturing yourself, Maxine. Here, get this down here. I don't want a cup of tea. You're treating me like one of your kids in a recital. Mama. I killed somebody, yes, to protect me and countless others he would have hurt. PC Franks tampered with evidence, Max, to help us. If you go and hand yourself in, she's going to lose her job and probably go to prison with the both of us. If you were a kid at one of my dance recitals, do you know what I would tell you? No. I would tell you to get out of your head and focus on the next step. What is the next step, Mum? Bringing Warren home. The police haven't got anything on him anymore, Maxine. The man you love is getting out of prison. They've been all vague about how it all happened. It's just tragic. I know. You know, Fergus always used to tip when he came in here. And he had such a lovely bum. Oh. You want to put that in a card? Stick it through Trish's door. Uh-huh. <laughs> Hey, what about Paul Marty? Much what everyone will be talking about a wedding day today, and then this happens. Mm. Need a hand? Not from you. Build. Don't you have that interview with the hotel manager today? Yeah, which is why I need to crack on. Oh, come on, see, just give me another chance. But I didn't really want to give you the first chance, but I did. Out of the goodness of my heart, and you showed your gratitude by bunking off with Nancy. <laughs> she was in a really bad place. I don't really care. Look, me and you. Well, like, pineapple on a pizza, you think, that's gonna work. You give it a go, makes you wanna puke. So a definite no, then. But tell you what, I'll just be over there if you change your mind. And for your information, pineapple on a pizza is actually very delicious. It really ain't, babe. It really ain't. So this is one of the businesses you service, is it? Yep. So if you find any dirty smears in that toilet, they happen in the last 20 minutes, all right? I see. <clears throat> Why don't you tell me a bit about you? OK, um... Me... My name's Stephen, as you know. I'm 33. I was born... Sorry, I meant more specifically about your company. Right. Ugh, what am I like? There's really no need to be nervous. So that's me, Bob. Been clapping for the last 15 minutes. <laughs> Why do I keep doing this? No, listen. This is a massive opportunity for me. Why don't you start by telling me how many staff you employ? Well, currently, it is just me. My three greatest attributes as a cleaner, I would have to say cleanliness, 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 and time management. Can I replace one of the cleanlinesses? Stephen, hi. Hi. I'm so glad that I bumped into you because I wanted to say what a fantastic job you did with the hall the other day. Right. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sally St. Clair. I'm the um, head teacher over at Hollyoaks High School. John Marston, manager of the Brass Bath Hotel brand. Does um, Stephen clean for you at the school? <laughs> well, cleaning is too simple a word because he is a mop magician. And in fact, the Governor's Board of Governors will be in touch to offer you an exclusive contract. Although, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> right, well, I'll leave you to it. Lovely to have met you. You too. And thanks, Mrs. St. Clair. Hey, I owe you big time. 
You got the contract? Oh, yeah. I can actually afford to buy food now. Listen, I am going to need help, but this is your second and last chance, OK? No, I won't let you down, I swear. I'm actually really excited about being a cleaner. <laughs> Don't make me regret my decision already. OK, OK. Is that the contract? Yeah. Check it out. And we'll be cleaning the whole hotel? Every nook and cranny. We're going to get to know that place inside out. <laughs> when they were taking the cuffs off. <laughs> I didn't believe. Yeah, well, you can believe it now. You're free. <laughs> yeah. And I got you to thank for that. You know, what you did was really brave, Max. You saved me. You protected Trish. <clears throat> and you got justice for Timmy. Hey, it's Felix and Martin's wedding today. Instead of going home, why don't we go and help them celebrate? You won't be going anywhere. And you take Mr. Fox back into custody. What? What's going on? PC Frank sorted this. Warren's innocent. He may not have been involved with Bluebird or attempting to traffic you, but he is far from innocent. You've got nothing on me. Oh, yes, we do. It turns out Fergus Collins didn't trust you very much. He sent a video to his lawyer under strict instructions should anything happen to him, it'd be given to us. What are you talking about? What video? The one of you burying Timmy Simmons. You told me you 